Okay, hello my dear students, uh, Assalamu alaikum and I welcome all of you in the class again today. So uh, today we have uh, Miss Evelyn, Edgar, Mayenda, Nabula Stella, Keegi, Sharon, Nekuba Ewa. So I welcome Miss Sharon, she's a new student here. We have Mr. Walter as well. So guys, uh, I welcome you all today <coughs> and uh, today uh, I'm deciding to have a listening test with all of you, okay? Uh, so you all know that how does the IELTS listening test works so just like for example we have a new student here in the class I welcome her uh, Miss Sharon Miss Sharon we all welcome you with warm heart right so uh, in order to uh, let's say keep our task for today uh, we are going to be having IELTS listening test all right so it's going to be a full test okay and the full test usually takes from 30 to 40 minutes all right so uh, just a couple of rules that I would uh, like to tell you, okay, and a couple of things that I would like to actually show you here. Uh, now, first of all, I will be showing you a PDF document, okay, and the PDF document you will be having your questions, okay, and uh, I'm, I'm also going to play a recording for you, and while listening that recording, you have to answer the questions, all right, and for this exercise, you need to take a paper and a pen, or maybe a paper, a pencil, or any notebook that you should have with you. And you should be writing down the answers, all right? Whatever the answer you think that could fit at the at that spot. So uh, this will be a complete recording. The recording does not pauses or does not stops, even in the even in the actual examination. Uh, Mr. Edgar, can you please mute yourself? Thank you. So yeah, <clears throat> this recording you cannot pause, you cannot replay, you cannot forward in my class as well as well as in the real exam as well however in my class we can do that uh, in order to uh, make sure that you guys are having clear understanding of this entire uh, test that how uh, this pattern uh, how this pattern is going on right so uh, we're gonna start that I will be showing you the PDF I will be scrolling down the file as well as as the recording will proceed now what do you, what will you hear in this recording now let's try to understand this thing that what will you hear this recording let me like you know first explain you that you all should be having a good idea so the things that you're be you're, you will be listening in this recording is number one thing is that uh, you're going to be listening to a few people having conversation with each other so there are there will be let's say total 40 questions that you need to answer and the recording is usually for 26 to 30 minutes recording and the recording and what happens in the recording Let's say the first 10 questions would be easier to answer because usually two persons are having conversation and you have to listen to their conversation and answer answer the most possible answer, let's say uh, the most right answer that you can think, the most appropriate, suitable answer that could fit in that place in the question booklet. All right. And uh, you need to write down the answers now because you cannot write down the answers in the question booklet until you don't uh, print that out, the documents that I've already sent you in the book in the group. But no need to print them out. You can do it, let's say, uh, via your cell phones or via your laptops as well, all right? So it's not a problem. You don't need to go and uh, print them out on your own independently, right? And <clears throat> so as the questions will go on, as the recording will go on, uh, will move forward, so the, 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 the level of the difficulty will also get harder. Let's say in the second recording, you might uh, hear maybe again two or three people uh, having a conversation with each other, but in a more let's say in a more British way, in a more native British way, in, the, in British English with the British accent. So that kind of gets a little bit tricky. And some of the questions do get a little bit tricky as well. Uh, you, they, don't really, they don't usually tell you the exact answer, but let's say they tell you any answer that is near to that and you have to guess the answer by yourself, okay? In the third phase, it's usually, uh, in the last and third phase, it's usually a uh, conversation a, a college lecture or a lecture of a teacher in a, in a in a university hall in a university classroom or in a college or any coaching center where you need to listen to the lecture of a professor and uh, then you need to mark the questions as per that all right so that's going to be today's our task okay and uh, now on the exam day what they will provide you on the exam day they will provide you with a pair of headphones and uh, in the headphones the recording will be played it will be definitely on computer or on paper depending whatever the situation is in your country uh, so that's how it's gonna be working okay and they do provide the stationery as well but better to like you know have your own stationery as well so and yeah it's really important that in all these exams let's say in reading writing listening speaking in IELTS gen general 
for you KVI, it's important for you to take your ID in the exam center. For example, uh, we have a couple of students who have been sharing their scores in the group uh, from today morning and uh, mashallah, I'm really happy for all of them. Uh, they have been getting really good scores and uh, I'm proud to, so proud to say that, that they are all a part of the gap here and they are my students as well. I've been teaching them since day one, since our classes started of IELTS as I have taken over uh, to this uh, prestigious platform that we all are part of, right? So uh, this is going to happen. Now let's begin. Now let me share you the question booklet and everything. The that the, the, the things are quite clear to all of you. Okay, I hope you guys can see my screen clearly. Okay, we're gonna go in the IELTS preparation material. Acha. Uh, so, so one thing that I would like to tell you. Sorry, I shouldn't say the word acha. It's my native language word. <laughs> it happens when you know when I'm love. You're supposed to switch to another thing. All right. So what we're gonna be doing here is that. Uh, these all, this all, these all books, these all PDF files, these all recordings I've already forwarded in the link uh, in the group. If you can go and check it out, you will find it, all right? So now we're going to do test number one, listening test number one. And in the end of the book, in the end of the book, the answers are also given, all right? So as you can see, the book cover, it's for the Cambridge Practice Test IELTS uh, for Vanessa Jackman and Claire McDowell, self-study edition number one, okay? You can self-study from these books as well, by the way. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down, right? If you guys are still confused that what is happening in this class and uh, uh, how to really cope up with this test and everything, so I already got you guys uh, because the class that I had with my students earlier, I already made a introduction, introductory listening video for all of you, all right? So let me go to my channel and I can show you from here that... Uh, where the video is uploaded and from where you can easily find the video. So if you can scroll down so you can see here IELTS listening class 1. In this class that I had 9 days ago, so this is a 49 minutes lecture, all right? In this class I explain each and everything in detail. So that's why I'm not going in enough in more details right now. It has been already 12 minutes. So if you can refer to this video, so by watching this video you will have more clear understanding that what to do, what are the rules, what are the regulation and each and everything, okay? And I'm clearly explaining in this uh, in this video a lot everything really clearly. Alright guys, I've so, so let me move forward I, in this section. So, so reading. So see I'm explaining each and everything, all the rules that what is happening, what is not happening and what to expect in this exam and everything. The scoring criteria, even the scoring criteria as well. I'm explaining each and everything in this video, alright? So just go and watch it and make sure that you subscribe to the channel that uh, whatever the videos I'm keeping for your preparation, that you will be always, always updated with those videos, alright? But this is not it, okay, for our new students. I've, I've already uploaded a couple of other videos as well here uh, regarding to our speaking sessions and regarding to our writing sessions as well. And however, I do have some other videos regarding to my other other students, let's say my students from China, my students from uh, United Kingdom, uh, my students from, let's say, uh, Italy, and I'll be uploading more and more uh, with my other students as well around the world that it, you can have a better understanding if you want to improve your English for the speaking classes and for a lot of other things. Uh, mostly uh, skill-based things that can really help you in your job hunting or let's say when you're going to United Kingdom in order to uh, become better and how to do self-study when you're you know you really want to improve your English speaking skills and writing skills as well. All right. So yeah, guys, let's get started. Uh, let me close this off. Let's go to writing test number one. All right. Now here we are at practice test listing number one. Each book, each book has four listening tests that I've already uploaded in the group on the WhatsApp group that you can easily go and check it out. All right. And and it all and and all that folder has a, has four recordings as well for test one, two. Three, four, all, all of them are present there, right? So now, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to share the computer sound as well to make sure that you guys can hear this thing really clearly. And please do give me a confirmation whether you can hear the computer sound or not, right? So let me play the recording number one. Cambridge practice tests for IELTS 1. So, uh, I want to ask for my five honorable students. Mr. Edgar Mayanda, did you hear the sound right now? Yeah, I heard the sound. Okay, thank you. Miss Evelyn uh, Namaze, did you hear the sound? Yes, Mr. Shen, I heard. Okay. Uh, Kaegi Sharon, did you hear the sound? Yes, Mr. Shen, I heard. 
Okay, Nabula Stella, did you hear the sound? Yes, I heard the sound. Better. Mr. Mr. Walter, the last student. Mr. Walter, did you hear the sound? Mr. Walter, I'm sorry you're not audible. Can you please come again? Okay, I'll assume that you can also hear, but no problem as uh, this video is recorded and I will be uploading this as well. So don't worry, right? So I'm just going to play the recording from the zero. So as you guys can see, this recording is for, let's say, 26 minutes, okay? So uh, I'm going to be playing this right now in a few seconds in three, two, and one. So please focus on the PDF file as well. You need to focus on the PDF document as well. And here is the PDF document, okay? I will be scrolling this down for you, all of you, right? That you all can get an easy idea, right? So I'm going to play the recording in uh, three, two, and one. Listen carefully now. And you will have Cambridge practice tests for IELTS 1 by Vanessa Jakeman and Claire McDowell. Published by Cambridge University Press, 1996. This recording is copyright. Cassette 1, side 1. Practice test 1. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. Write all your answers in the listening question booklet. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section 1 of your question booklet. Section 1. You will hear a telephone conversation between a woman and a police officer. First, look at questions 1 to 5. For each of the questions, four alternatives are given. Decide which of the alternatives, A, B, C or D, best fits what you hear on the tape and circle the appropriate letter. You will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to the example will be played first. Good evening, City Police Station. Can I help you? Oh, hello. I'd like to report a stolen briefcase, please. Just a minute and I'll put you through. The woman says she wants to report a stolen briefcase, so A has been circled. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. So all of you, now I hope that uh, all of you did understood that what they are asking, how to do it, ex write that. So uh, every, everyone, is, uh, are the instructions clear to you? Now, do you understand what you need to do in, in your uh, notebook and with the paper and pencil? Right now, you will do yes. this in... Yeah, yeah, okay. Everyone clear? Yes, we're okay. Yeah. All right, okay, okay. I hope that you all are all understand the instructions, right? So, right now, you will do in your notebook and paper and pencil, everything like that. But in the exam, they will uh, provide you an answer sheet. But you have to do it right here in the question booklet as well as well in the answer sheet to transfer your answer from question booklet in the answer sheet they give you extra 10 minutes in the end so don't worry all right don't panic but you know they give so much time there's so much time you will see you will notice that in the recording that you're listening in that there will be so many pauses so many pauses that you will say that oh my god we really have a lot of time to really transfer the answers read the questions which are going to come in the future in advance and like you know how quickly we can do things as per uh, the speed of their conversation so I'm gonna start it again okay so I'm muting my microphone first
Okay, I'm gonna close my camera first. Okay, so I'm playing the recording in three, two, and one. Now listen carefully to the first part of the conversation and answer questions one to five. Good evening, City Police Station. Can I help you? Oh, hello. I'd like to report a stolen briefcase, please. Just a minute and I'll put you through. Lost property. Can I help you? Oh, yes. I've had my briefcase stolen. Okay, I'll take some details. Tell me what it looks like, first of all. Well, it's a soft leather one, you know, not a heavy box type like a man's. Mm -hmm. And how does it close? It's got buckles at the front, two of them. They're gold-plated ones. Fine. Uh, was it locked? No, I'm afraid not. Never mind. Any distinguishing features? Pardon? Any marks or badges on it that make it stand out? Uh, only the brand name. And where's that? It's on the back, at the bottom in the left-hand corner. It's saggy. Oh, and there's a scratch. It's quite bad, but small, directly above the brand name. I did it recently putting it on my bike. I've got that. So, what did you have inside the briefcase? Well... All my papers from college. It's so frustrating, but thank goodness for computers. I haven't lost them completely. Yes, you're lucky. I had my wallet in my pocket, so I didn't lose that. But there were also my pens, which I got for my birthday, and a novel I was planning to read on the train. Right. Where exactly did you lose the briefcase? Well, I couldn't believe it. I was standing on the platform. It was right next to me. You were holding it? I'd just put it down on the floor, but I could almost feel it beside me. I was watching for my train because sometimes it comes early, and then next time I looked, my briefcase wasn't there. And what time was this? Uh, it was... It must have been about 5.20. No, a bit later. I'd say 5.30 because it was just getting crowded, and the train normally comes at about 25 to 6.00. Before they continue their conversation, look at questions 6 to 10. As you listen to the rest of the conversation, complete the form by filling in the numbered spaces 6 to 10. Right, if you'll just give me some personal details. Yes. What name is it? I'm Mary Prescott. Can you spell that? Yes, it's P-R-E-S-C-O-T-T. -T. And your address? Flat 2, 41, Fountain Road, Canterbury. Fountain Road? Yes, number 41. And have you got a contact telephone number? Yes, it's 752239. 752239. Fine. Uh, one last question. What would you say the value of your briefcase is? Including the contents? Yes. Just a rough estimate is fine. Oh, I'm not sure. Well, the briefcase itself is quite new. I bought it last month for £40. I suppose about £65. The contents are worth about £20 or £25 at least. That's fine. Well, um... If you could come down to the station tomorrow, you can sign this form and have a look at what we've got here. OK, thanks. Bye. Goodbye. That is the end of Section 1.
You now have half a minute to check your answers. All right, guys. Now I have paused it. So now, until now, so you might have noticed this thing that uh, how much time do you get? Uh, like you know, how many times they are pausing f while changing the questions? Let's say first it was from one to five, then there was a gap, and you know that gap is for thirty seconds. So be aware, okay? So they give you plenty of time in between to pause and to transfer and to look, to pause and to transfer and to look, not to transfer, but to pause and to read the questions, the quest, the other questions, right as well. And there is a gap as well. So a person can recheck in that in those 30 seconds. In those 30 seconds, you can recheck if you are really good. So you can read the other questions as well. And uh, let's say also if you're really fast, so you can even use utilize the, this time to transfer your answers as well. However, in the t in the end, they usually give you t they usually not, but they always give you 10 minutes. It's in the rules. It's in the rules written as well that they will give you 10 minutes. Uh, but if you if you checked. Uh, the rules if you heard the rules in the starting when the guy was saying in the in the beginning that uh, uh, You have to answer these questions and then uh, you will be getting 10 minutes extra to transfer the time All right to transfer your answers usually they don't mention 10 minutes, but they are actually 10 minutes. All right So this is the whole scenario situation any question until now did you understood that? How do we how do you have to go in this pattern and I hope that you guys are writing this as well So yeah guys any updates did do you all understand that what you have to do? Yeah, uh, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, uh, what wh what do we do first? Uh, putting the because when when the, the record is going on, uh, when uh, you had the question the question sheet uh -huh. where we have to see the questions here. That for it, uh, for example, we had a question where where they are say we have a question where they are asking the name address. Uh, telephone estimated value of lots yeah, yeah. of items. Yeah. So uh, this is how the question uh, question sheet looks like. Hey, this is exactly a question it's, sheet. Yeah, yeah, Edgar. This is exactly a question sheet. This is like not an example, but this is exactly a question sheet. Yes. Now, when when I'm listening to the when I'm listening to the audio, uh, the same time uh, do they they they, pro they provide to me the question sheet. Plus the answer sheet. Is it uh, right? Yes, sir. Yes, they will provide you the question sheet, the answer sheet, mm -hmm. the stationery, and mm -hmm. headphones, pair of headphones as well. Yes. Y yes. Now, where I see it is like objective. It is objectives where we circle A, B, Yeah, o, like C. this. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, yeah. Y y yes. Now, if when I'm listening to the quest, uh, to the to the audio, am I supposed to circle it immediately? Oh, there is time for circling these uh, answers, the objectives. Very good question, Edgar. Whatever, whatever you hear, whatever at whatever mm. exercise you hear that, do it immediately, because you have yes. to do in the question booklet separately as you will be just listening, and then you have to transfer these answers from the question booklet to the answer sheet in the end. So there is no time. There is no extra time. So you have, you got to do it immediately because let's see that if you don't do it immediately. Then uh, you will lose the recording because they are okay. not going to replay that for you. Okay. Yeah. So I hope that I it answers your question, Edgar. Yes. Thank you, Mister. All right. Cool. Cool, sir. Cool. Yes, Evelyn. Yes, Evelyn. Yes, Mister Shan. Um, my question uh, is: yeah, yeah. What if I am a what if I'm a slow writer and I feel like the ten minutes won't be enough for me to transfer my answers from the question sheet to the answer booklet in the intervals of 30 seconds and more seconds that are given to me can i be transferring that work from the answer book from the answer sheet to the answer booklet or oh, that is not allowed while uh, doing the questions Yes, while I'm waiting for the question, now you see that interval between uh, yeah, uh, the, the reading for you, listening from uh, question one to five. I got your question. Interval, like, I understood. Yeah, yeah, I understood your question. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, you can do that. You can do that. As I mentioned before, that there are some students who are very fast and uh, uh, mm -hmm. they really don't waste those 30 seconds which they usually give you in order to read the other five questions just like they did after question five they told you that you have a uh, half a minute to check your answers or you have a uh, let's say 
now you have some time to look at question 6 to 10 so that time that some time is actually 30 seconds I have actually calculated that all right uh, so if you think that you can do it so yeah no problem but after reading those questions in the in advance it's much 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 better to read those questions and uh, then if you have a ton of time left yeah transfer something whatever you can transfer okay all right cool okay so is there anyone else uh, who has any question if anyone has a question please raise your hand if you don't have a question please put down your hand Evelyn if you have done you can put down your hand and if, uh, if there is anyone else who has any question so please raise your hands so I should consider that Lily Walter Nabula Stella Keagi Sharon everyone is clear okay I'll consider that that you guys are clear so now I'm gonna move forward from to section 2 I'm gonna play the recording in 3 Two and Now turn to section 2. Section 2. You are going to hear a news report from an Australian radio program. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 13. Now listen to the news headlines and tick the three other items which are mentioned. This is the 6 o'clock news for Tuesday the 25th of November. And first the headlines. The Prime Minister has promised to help the drought-stricken farmers in the northern part of the country who haven't seen rain for nearly two years. And in Sydney, a group of school children are successfully rescued from a plane which landed in the sea shortly after takeoff. Transport workers are on strike in Melbourne over a pay claim and the strike looks set to spread to other states. And on a fashionable note, there's to be a new look for the staff of Qantas, Australia's national airline. Now you have some time to look at questions 14 to 21. As you listen to the rest of the news, complete the notes in the spaces provided. The Prime Minister has pledged today that he will make $250 million available to help the drought-stricken farmers who have not seen rain for years get through the next five years. Money that was to have been spent on the restructuring of Sydney's road system has been reallocated to what the Prime Minister described as a more worthy cause. Farmers are to receive financial assistance to help see them through the worst drought in over 50 years. Many farmers feel that while the money is welcome, it has come too late to save them and their farms from financial ruin, and are angry that the government did not act sooner. A group of school children who were travelling in a privately chartered aeroplane from Sydney to Queensland to take part in a musical concert found themselves swimming for the shore when their aeroplane had to land in the sea just three minutes after taking off from Sydney Airport. The pilot managed to bring the aircraft and its 50 passengers down safely in the calm waters of Botany Bay, where boats and pleasure craft were able to come to the rescue of the boys. The fact that it was a weekend meant that there were hundreds of boats in the bay enjoying the good weather, and this undoubtedly helped the rescue operation. 
We owe our lives to the skill of the pilot, said one of the boys, but the pilot replied modestly that it was all part of a day's work. However, all their musical instruments were lost and they never got to play at the concert. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section three. Section three. In this section, you will hear a conversation between a university student and a university lecturer. Look at questions twenty-two to twenty-five. For each of the questions, four alternatives are given. Decide which of the alternatives best fits what you hear on the tape, and circle the appropriate letter. Hello. Can I come in? Oh yes, come in. How can I help you? I was looking for the economics office. I've been all over the arts faculty building looking for it, but I could only find the School of Accounting and Economic History. Is this the right place? Yes, this is the School of Economics. Oh, good. Um, I'm a new student, and I was wondering if someone could give me some information. Well, I might be able to help. I lecture on that program. What do you need to know?、Oh, quite a few things, actually.、Mm -hmm. Firstly, how many lectures a week do I have to attend? Ah,、oh, well, the economics one course is a double unit, so there are two lectures a week and one tutorial.、Oh. The lectures are scheduled for Tuesday and Thursday. What time? Ah,、oh, let me see. Um, you know, this information is all in the handout which you should have received yesterday at the orientation meeting. Uh, oh, was there was there a meeting yesterday? I didn't know about that.、Um, no one mentioned. Yes, <laughs> there was, but、uh, never mind. Now lectures are at four in the afternoon. Oh,、uh, four's a bit late. I've got a part-time job that starts at four thirty. Well, you can't be in two places at once, can you? And attendance at lectures is necessary. We expect at least ninety percent attendance at this university. You know. Ninety percent? That's high. Do they enforce that rule? Yes, we do. We're pretty strict about it, actually. And what times have been set down for the tutorials? Do you have that information? That's a very well attended course. So there's a number of tutorial times:、um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all at nine o'clock. Yours will be allocated at the first lecture. Can't I choose the time? Maybe, maybe not. You'll have to talk to the lecturer on the course. Doctor Roberts is his name. Oh, okay. Now look at questions twenty-six to thirty-one. All right, guys.、Uh, some of you have been texting me directly that please increase the phone size and everything, just like Miss Sharon just did right now. So, guys, actually,、uh, in your phone there is an option. You're seeing this definitely on your phone or on your laptop.、Uh, the Zoom application has an option that you can pinch into Zoom. You can pinch into Zoom, okay? You can also do that from your phones, all right? And this option is available in the Zoom. So maybe sometimes you know the, the there is too much text written on the screen, and I cannot zoom in that much that it's clear to all of you, all right? So in order that to see it clearly, you guys just can pinch to Zoom, all right? Just like you know you zoom in your the other pictures in your smartphones, all right? So please do let me know if that option is available in your phone or not. And Sharon, do try that, all right? Oops. Yes, sure. Cambridge. Now listen to the news headlines. And there's a more worthy cause: drought-stricken farmers who have not seen.
Now you have some time to look at questions 14 to 21. All right, have you already done done this? Let me move forward. Yes. Money that was to have been spent on the we owe our turn to section three. Okay, we did the section three already. We are at twenty six to thirty one. Section right? three. Is this the right place? Well, I might be the echo to the first lecture. This is provided. As the conversation continues, complete the notes in the spaces provided. Anything else I can help you with while you're here? Well, yes, actually. Do you know what the course requirements are? I mean, uh, how much work is expected for this course? Well, you have to complete a tutorial paper. Well, what does that involve? Well, it's a piece of work on a given topic based on some set reading text. You'll have to give a small talk to your tutorial group. Oh, how long does that have to be? Oh, about 25 minutes, usually. I have to talk for 25 minutes? Yes, that's right. <laughs> and then you have to write up your piece of work and give it to the lecturer to be marked. Right. Uh, and is that all? No. You also have to complete a 3,000-word essay on a topic. Can I choose the topic? Yes, usually you can. Right. Huh. That shouldn't be too bad. And in addition to that, there is an exam. An exam? <laughs> what sort of exam? Well, it's an open book exam. Does that mean I can have the textbook with me during the exam? Yes, that's right. And can you give me any idea about the content of the first year of economics so that I can get into some reading? Well, you'll be getting the reading list next week when lectures start. All the books are in the library. Yes, but won't everyone else take them out as soon as they get the reading list too? Well, yes, they might. But most of the important ones are held in closed reserve. That's a part of the library where you can go to read books, but you can't take them out of the building. What did you call that section of the library? Closed reserve. However, we do recommend that you buy the core books. You'll find them useful and you'll need them for the exam. Yes, I suppose I will. So, my dear students, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but uh, I had to share, uh, reshare the Zoom link again because uh, the first meeting was over. But I'm going to continue the recording exactly from that spot. So, don't worry and just stay focused. All right, guys, I'm going to continue now in three, two, one. Focus. Out of the building. What did you call that section of the library? Closed reserve. However, we do recommend that you buy the core books. You'll find them useful and you'll need them for the exam. Yes, I suppose I will. But what is the focus of the course? Well, the course at this university has a vocational focus. That is, a focus on preparing its graduates for work. So we're orientated very much towards employment. Oh, so my chances of getting a job are good. Well, provided you get good results. Well, look, thanks for your time. You've been really helpful. <laughs> That's fine. See you next week, then. That is the end of section 3. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 4. Section 4. You will hear a talk given by a university lecturer about the structure of the university. First, look at questions 32 to 36. Now listen and answer questions 32 to 36.
remainder of the university. Yeah. I mean, always the lecture. Good morning, and welcome to the University of Westlands. Uh, my name is Marcia Mayhew, and I'm the coordinator of the Bachelor of Social Science degree. Uh, this morning, I'd like to tell you about the structure of the university, and about some of the requirements of the degree that you're about to enter. The Bachelor of Social Science is in one faculty within the university. That is the faculty where I work, known as Arts and Social Sciences. Here on this campus, we also have the faculties of Architecture, Law, and Science and Technology, among others. Uh, it's important to know something about the structure of the faculty because as you go through your course, you may need to call on members of the staff to help you. At the top of the faculty, we have a dean, and below the dean, we have three divisions. Each division has a divisional head, and your degree is located in the Division of Social Sciences. Within each of the divisions, there are the departments, and each of these offers the different degrees. For instance, two of the departments which offer the major subjects for your award are Sociology and Psychology. Each has a departmental head, but for practical purposes, the people you are going to see the most of are myself as coordinator of the social sciences degree and the actual lecturers who are teaching the subjects that you are taking. For instance, in the first semester, you'll be doing four subjects, psychology, sociology, history and economics. If you have any problems or difficulties not that I'm anticipating you will, but you never know, <laughs> then you should go and see your lecturers. For instance, you may find that you can't meet a deadline for an essay, or perhaps you're having problems with attendance. Uh, these seem to be the two most common problems that students face. Now look at questions 37 to 41. As you listen to the rest of the talk, answer the questions 37 to 41. If your lecturers are unavailable, you can always come and see me in my office. I'm available on Wednesday and Thursday mornings and on Friday afternoons. Outside these hours, perhaps you could ring the secretary and make an appointment. Now... You'll note that all of the subjects which you undertake in the first year are composed of lectures and tutorials. A lecture is about an hour long and a tutorial usually runs for about two hours. A lecture is rather like what I'm doing now, where one person will talk to all of you together on a subject. Now, we do ask you to try to attend the lectures. <laughs> a tutorial is perhaps where most of the learning occurs at a university. You will be divided into groups of between 12 and 15 students, and each week one of you will have to present a piece of work to the group as a whole, and then the group will discuss what you've said. It's this discussion, this exchange of ideas, which really constitutes the basis of university learning, in my view. Listening to lectures in many ways is just giving you information that you could access for yourself in the library. But the discussion at the tutorial is very important. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't go to the lectures, though. <laughs> Other factors to be particularly concerned about are uh, the structure of essays and delivery of written material. And in particular, 
I would like to mention the question of plagiarism. Hmm. Plagiarism is taking other people's work without acknowledging it. That is, without saying where it comes from. Now, of course, all essays are based on research done by other people, but you must remember to attribute the work to the original writer. And while it's a good idea to work with other people, don't hand in work which is exactly the same as your friend's work because we will notice. <laughs> if you don't acknowledge the source of your information, then you run the risk of failing the subject or in very serious cases, you might be denied entry to the university. Last but not least, stay in touch with us. If things are getting you down, don't go and hide. Come and talk to us about it. That's what we're here for. Right. Um, thank you very much for coming along today. That is the end of Section 4. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Alright guys, so that was the end of uh, this particular test, alright? So I hope that you all uh, understood everything clearly and you did cooped up with that, with that as well. So uh, now what you have to do is that I will be sharing the... That is uh, the end of the listening test. So that was the end of the listening test. You now have 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the listening answer sheet. Now you Cambridge might have, practice test. Now you might have heard that in the end they give you 10 minutes to answer the... to transfer any t anything to their the answers, right? Now let me open the answers. What are the answers that you guys can check and see? Okay, so this is how the answer sheet looks like. Okay, it's given here as well. This is how the answer sheet looks like. See, uh, the questions are from 1 to 42. So usually 40 questions, right? So this is how it happens, okay? So let me just open. And this answer sheet will be provided to you in two cases. The cases of reading and listening. So uh, let me just uh, go through this again. Let me open the answers for all of you. Okay, this is listening, practice test one answer. So now guys, let me share this as a screenshot in the gap group for all of you that, that you all can see this clearly. And do tell me one to one by one individually uh, on WhatsApp that uh, what score did all of you got all right all right so dear students that we're end with our today's lesson and hopefully i will upload this very soon on youtube as well and anyone can, can just go and watch it and you can retake the test as well however i already provided you all the books and all the uh recordings as well from which you can just do the practices and you know the key to achieve highest score is to just practice practice and practice to try different tests and however in the end of our classes we will be also trying the different tests as well all right guys and yes, please guys do give me update on the IELTS uh, writing part as well. Uh, I will be sharing the, that video that we practice on, on the writing task again with all of you in order to have a better consensus on one single topic. Alright guys. So Mr. Walter, Sharon, Evelyn, Edgar, thank you so much for coming in today's session and then see you tomorrow in our class. Alright. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. But please do share your scores with me on WhatsApp. Count it, calculate it. There should not be any uh, mistakes in the spelling. If there is a mistake in the spelling, so that's considered as wrong, okay? But however, check your answers and do tell me the score, all right? The score chart is given in the picture after I send you. Okay, goodbye. Edgar, Evelyn, Bye. Walter, K. Sharon. Ta-ta. <laughs>